And we are live. How is everybody doing? It's Andrew once again with another live stream, and we are uh, doing this on a Saturday. It's May 9th, I believe. Let me just double check. 11.30 a.m. Pacific time. I hope everybody's doing okay. And um, a lot of exciting stuff on the channel. Now, we're going to mostly focus on the Samsung Galaxy Book Flex, uh, which I have here, of course. Let's uh, bring that into the live stream. And let me just make sure I'm here. Okay, and then as you can see here, I have the Book Flex. Now, I do have the TCL 10 Pro, but I don't know if we're gonna get to it today. I know I put it in the description, but I didn't open it yet, but it didn't seem like a lot of you, based on the current chat, uh, we're too into it. So we'll, we'll have to see on that one. We'll see how much time we have. I want to keep this to an hour today. So it looks like the bandwidth is looking good. We're at 1080p. Uh, we have 40 of you in the live stream. Let's wait a little bit before we get into it. But let's start saying hello to people. Starmat Inc. Hello. How are you? Uh, Waris. May 10th for you, but it's good to see you, even though you're a day ahead of us here in Las Vegas. Paul, once again, good to see you, my friend. Uh, very beautiful laptop. We'll get into that in a moment. Let me just switch over to this camera while I'm saying hello to everybody. Philip, good to see you. Yes, it's one good-looking laptop, as you can see here. Royal Blue, I don't know if a lot of you have caught my unboxing video. We're approaching 10,000 views. I was hoping to get a little bit more, although it is above average. It's doing okay, so that's good. Really pretty laptop, that's for sure. Uh, we have, let's see who else is here. Michael Vassi, how are you? Very good, uh, pretty laptop, I agree. Um, Juan Garcia, yes, you can buy this at Best Buy, and that's exactly where I got mine from Best Buy. I have the 15-inch version, 15.6 inches, QLED display, 10th uh, generation Ice Lake processor. We'll talk more about that in a moment. And that is exactly Ernesto, where you can buy it. Now, if you go also, now I did put a link in my video to the Amazon link, although it looks like it's unavailable. It's not there yet. Uh, it looks like it should be coming to Amazon, so keep your eye on that. I'll let you know if I hear of anything. Dimitri, good to see you. Third live stream in a row. I'm glad to see you. Uh, Duchesne, here for the Galaxy Book Flex. I think a lot of you are here for that. You're really not here for this. <laughs> it's, it's okay. By the way, that is a good phone. I haven't even unboxed it yet. So we might just keep this to the Galaxy Book Flex, since that seems like what most of you want to do. Waris, again, like I said, good to see you. All right, yeah, and, and that's... Pretty much looks like what the sentiment is. Uh, Tim, how are you, by the way? Uh, you're excited, ab not too excited about the TCL phone, tired of watching videos on it. I try to stay away from the videos in general, but uh, they did send it to me and I want to check it out at some point. Paul, uh, once again, I'm glad you're here for the stream. So far, we have 58 of you in the live stream. Let me switch cameras. Again, back to the overhead cam. How is everybody doing? No, okay, we're going to start off like this. Uh, can you open it with one hand? No, you cannot. So it's a pretty sturdy hinge. You see, like, if I give it a little bit of a go, no, you cannot. It's too heavy to open with one finger, and it's just not balanced. It's a two-in-one, and it's a really, really sturdy hinge, as you can see here. Um, but the build on this is fantastic. Um, really, really good stuff, and as you can see there. Um, Everything looks like it's in focus. Um, let me show you how beautiful this laptop is. And there you can see the, um, and let me, let me bring it out a little bit as I can adjust things here. Although I don't want to get certain things into the shot like my iPad. And this mouse I don't really need right now. So I could put that there. Okay, so this is the Galaxy Book Flex. I did my unboxing video uh, day about less than 48 hours. Um, what I like about it, of course, is this gorgeous QLED display. And let me bring it over. And there are some updates that need to be done. Um, let me just move it there. Well, I don't like that light. Give me a second. I'm going to turn off that light. I think that's going to be better because that light is really distracting. Okay, so we have this, and I can turn on this a little bit. 
and that'll probably get it better into focus for you guys. Um, really good stuff. Now it has the S Pen as we talked about. And here is the S Pen. And this has 4,096 levels of pressure sensitivity, Wacom EMR technology. So it doesn't really use batteries, although there is a battery in there from what I understand for the Bluetooth. And that gives you that air commands and all that stuff. And I'll talk more about that in the um, upcoming video that I have on this, probably tomorrow at the earliest, because I'm still working on it. Hi, DJ Fields, how are you? Any word on the 16 gigabytes of RAM, one terabyte uh, storage coming to the US? Uh, I don't have any information. I bought this on my own. Samsung has not returned my call, so to speak. Uh, but what I can tell you is this has 12 gigabytes of RAM, which I'm not quite sure why they only went with 12 on the 15.6 inch. I think 16 would have made more sense. Why offer this with 12? Uh, but that being said, the performance on that Core i7 Ice Lake processor with the Intel Iris Plus graphics has been very good. So uh, really, really good. So. QLED display, let's talk about that. Uh, definitely looks pretty, Jesus. Um, the QLED display to me is really good in, in the sense that uh, it, it, it's unlike OLED in the sense that there is there is a backlight on this. With OLED technology, you just have all black and then it lights up the pixels. Uh, to make a long story short, if you have all black display, you'll save on battery life. But anytime you have to light up the pixels, of course, that's going to take away battery life. QLED is different in the sense that they're using that quantum dot technology and it does have a backlight on it and it does get bright without sacrificing battery life. And battery life has been great on this device, by the way, just so you know. Um, and I'll give you the exact numbers, but I can tell you this, I've been getting more than 11 plus hours, even 12 hours. I'm still doing my testing, but expect all day battery life on this, which was a great, great thing. Of course, if you watch my channel, you know that. I don't even, I don't even tune in to understand these computers, my man. I just think your content presentation is dope because you care about it so much. Trillionaire, I really appreciate it. I hope you learned something from these live streams, from my videos, and I really appreciate that. Uh, does this have a stylus in it? Yes, it does. It's right here. It's the S Pen. It's the same S Pen that you'd find in, say, like a Galaxy Note 9, which I happen to have right here. And this pen actually does work. Now, there is a little bit of a difference between these two pens. This is from my Note 9. Uh, they look about the same size, but the tip is a little bit different. Uh, the, the plunger, or whatever you want to call these things, it doesn't quite fit in exactly in, but it's very close in size and it has the pretty much the same exact functionality. So yes, this is the pen and the pen is working well. You get all sorts of gestures, commands uh, that you'd find with the, the note line. So that's good. I'll talk more about that. I might even do a separate video. Now this does have Samsung DeX, uh, the DeX mode. If you want to know more about that, it's the same one you find on the phone. Although this works really well with DeX and I'll show you more in a separate video on that as well. Let's take some more questions. Um, yeah, Paul, I'm just absolutely happy with the battery life on this. It's been fantastic. I don't know why this is different. Uh, it's fantastic uh, as far as battery life, 11 plus hours. I'm thinking even 12. I'm not done with my testing. Now, one thing to be, uh, to be aware of, there is an outdoor readability mode on this. And I don't know if you could really see it on video, but um, let me... You can sort of see it. I don't want to go out of frame too much, but you can see the screen here. Uh, if I press uh, F10, which is the outdoor readability, that turns it on. I don't know if I have my thing turned on. I think I have to press function. Yeah. Why is that not working? Anyway, for some reason it's not. Oh, maybe because I have function lock. I hate when things go awry here. I don't know. I need to do an update on it. But anyway, rest assured, all I can tell you is it does get bright. Now, as far as brightness, you're looking at around 400 nits. I'll give you the exact numbers in my full review. Brightness with the uh, outdoor, uh, outdoor readability mode or the outdoor mode gets up to 600 nits. And it's, they're pretty close on that. Pretty bright stuff. And especially in direct sunlight. Uh, it's a sunny day here in Las Vegas. And when I do my B-roll for the full review, you'll see exactly what I mean. 
Yeah, I think there is a 16 gigabyte version. I just don't know if they're selling it right now. Uh, so I don't know, uh, Asif. Uh, but the, this one has 12 gigabytes of RAM. And I don't really notice that much of a difference in my testing. It's getting pretty good performance, I have to say. So, uh, you know, it's hard to tell, but those four extra gigabytes would have been nice on this, especially at the price point. And the price point on this is $13.99, which is not cheap, that's for sure. I would expect a minimum of 16 gigabytes of RAM. Um, I don't know, Baba, how you can get it in India. Unfortunately, I only know about the availability in the U.S. I was able to buy one from Best Buy. How is the hinge? Some say it's a little weak, it moves too easily. Um, let's take a look at it. And then let me go full screen on this. Let me take me off of here for now. Um, and you can see, and I can, oops, drop, drop my, one thing, one second, everybody. Sorry about that. Uh, you can see it, it's pretty stiff, okay? It's pretty stiff, but there is gonna be screen wobble. Not too bad, actually. The screen wobble's there because it's a two-in-one convertible. The inherent nature of the design, it will have some wobble. So, but it's pretty sturdy. It's not going anywhere. If I'm, I'm even hitting it pretty hard, but it's not going anywhere, so. Uh, it's, it's looking good so far. Okay. All right, so let's take the next question. How are the speakers? Uh, Ads wants to know, how are you, my friend? Uh, the speakers are good. I like them. They're AKG tuned. You can see the AKG, AKG branding right there. Um, as far as loudness, they get pretty loud. There is bass. They actually sound really good. I'm impressed. Now, some reviewers say they didn't like it. I'm not really sure if maybe it's the 15 inch or as opposed to the 13 inch. I really think these speakers are pretty good. I'm, I'm very happy with the speakers. Uh, can you test the quality of the display? If you could show the logo inside the red triangle rectangle in the following site. Uh, I don't need to do that. I've already tested this, but, and I have the RGB, I have the sRGB, I have the, um, the Adobe RGB, I've got it all. I got the P3 wide color, color gamut numbers, but you're gonna have to wait for my full review. I gotta give you something that you're gonna wanna watch. But I can tell you right now, the, the color gamut is covered very well with this laptop. It's got very good colors. It's pretty good across the board, especially with brightness, uh, color accuracy, uh, all looking good. And that's one of the differences between the uh, QLED and the OLED. The QLED, is um, much better in terms of natural colors than the OLED, which seemed to be a little bit punchy. And, and some people like that, and I actually like that, but I'm really impressed with this QLED display. Uh, Drew, rest assured, it's gonna be good, I, I, I promise you. Um, how is it without the NVIDIA card? Uh, DJ Fields One is asking. Um, the the Iris Plus graphics, if you've watched my channel, I actually like Iris Plus graphics. It's a big step up from, say, the UHD graphics from last gen or in some current gen, actually. Uh, but it would have been nice to have the MX150. And as I mentioned in my unboxing video, there is a variant with a MX150 available outside the United States. It's not available in the United States from what I understand, at least not yet. But as far as the Intel Iris Plus graphics, you can play some of the older titles. If you lower the settings, you'll be fine. Not gonna play AAA titles unless you do connect to an external GPU. Now it does have uh, two Thunderbolt 3 ports, which is good, it was good to see that. And you can connect to an external GPU if you wanna get better game play on this. I like, uh, Paul saying, I like the ergonom ergonomic design of the numpad, which of course you see here. Um, in relation to the rest of the keys, Asus and Lenovo's are so small that it becomes hard to use the numbers without looking at them directly. Good point, Paul. Uh, I'm not, I don't use it that much. I'm not really a number crunchers guy, but I do see the, the utility, the value in it, and I like the placement is good. Now, speaking of which, 
couple of things that I'm not crazy about on the keyboard, and I mentioned it in the unboxing, is the placement of the fingerprint scanner, which is different than, of course, in the 13-inch model, which is going to be towards the end over here. But because they needed the numpad, they uh, had to put it between the shift key. Speaking of the shift key, it is a half-size key, which um, I'm not crazy about, although it wasn't as terrible as I thought it was going to be. I quickly adjusted to it, and I've been pretty typing pretty accurately with it, although I have a few mishaps with the uh, shift key. Again, half-size, I'm not crazy about it, and that's due to that placement of the fingerprint scanner. Now, speaking of the fingerprint scanner, it's, look, it's working very well, it's very responsive, and there is no Windows Hello login on this, which I think is a little bit of a miss, considering that Intel designed this laptop. I'm kind of surprised, but again, they decided not to go with Windows Hello. Now, speaking of that uh, camera, now the quality of the picture is okay, nothing great, which is par for the course for a lot of these uh, laptops we've been seeing, but the microphones, there's a problem, and I'm hoping that this update that's ready to be updated here um, is hopefully gonna correct some of the audio issues on the microphones. And if you saw my unboxing video, I didn't wanna see anything until I got all the testing in. And I'll, I'll, I'll talk more about this, of course, in my full review, but the microphones didn't sound good at all. So if you're gonna be using this so far, make sure you get a good set of Bluetooth or headsets, uh, wired headsets with microphone on it because it's not very good, as you can see. And I'm hoping that it's a software issue and an update will correct it. We'll uh, find out and I'll let you know if anything should change. All right, let's go to some of the other comments. Um, okay, uh, uh, Jerry, uh, listen, I'm doing the best I can. I'm not ignoring you with all your questions, but we got to get everybody's questions in. And if you're not happy, I'm sorry, Jerry. I, I try to get to everybody's questions. Uh, I'm trying to run a live stream here. I've got a lot of things going on. I've got m multiple cameras here, so I'm trying to accommodate everybody. So if you can ask your question, I will ask it. I got to look for your question. Uh, but if you could ask it again, I will definitely help you out there, my friend, okay? But you got to gotta give everybody a chance. Uh, there's a lot of things going on. I can't look at every question. I'm a one-man band here, my friend. Can you compare it with the Samsung Galaxy Book Ion 15.6, which has additional slot for the RAM and SSD that can be replaced, and it is a laptop? Uh, yes, I can, uh, but I don't know when I'm going to get it. I had to go out of pocket out of this. This cost me over $1,500 with the... Um, for this laptop with the tax and everything here in Las Vegas, so I had no choice to get this. Uh, Samsung didn't send me a review unit, so I'd have to go out of pocket again, and that's about $1,200 for the Ion, but I will get it at some point, so stay tuned. Let me see what I can do. Are you going to go review in tablet mode? Yeah, I'm going to show you tablet mode in my full review, of course. But here it is, 16 to 9 ratio. I'm not crazy about in tablet. It's a little bit heavy. It's a three plus pounds uh, device, of course, since it is a 15.6 um, a inch tablet. So you're not really gonna use it that much in tablet, although it does feel pretty comfortable uh, compared to other 15 inch convertibles out there. Okay, Jerry, you got you got a chance here. <laughs> what about the gaming performance? Yes, I remember you. I've asked you many questions related to the XPS 13. Gaming performance is decent on this, but again, no dedicated GPU, no no MX150 on this at, at a minimum. I'd like to see, but I can tell you that the Iris Plus graphics are decent. I will be talking about that in my full review. Probably will be dropping tomorrow. But again, this is not a gaming laptop, but you can play some of the older titles if you lower the settings. Thermals have actually been pretty good too. We'll get into that as well. So Jerry, I hope you're okay. <laughs> uh, Michael Vassi's asking, uh, 15 inch uh, tablet is going to be a bit of a compromise. Yes, but you do get the extra real estate that it brings as far as the screen is concerned. Uh, now the difference between the 13.3 inch and the 15.6 inch is the screen size. Same battery, same uh, processor, same graphics in it, the Iris Plus graphics, same ports, 
Uh, just going to get a different layout on the keyboard, of course, to accommodate the numpad on the bigger one, and of course, the bigger display. So that's pretty much the difference. And, I, and somebody asked me on the unboxing video if I was going to review the 13-inch model, and I don't really see a reason to because this will pretty much cover everything. The only difference is the size of the screen and the weight, and that's pretty much it. Everything else seems to be the same. Again, the keyboard is a little bit different as well. I do have stuff coming. I can't talk about it. I'm under embargo, but um, Ahmed, uh, rest assured, I have stuff coming. AMD, Ryzen stuff, so stay tuned. I, can't, I just can't talk about it. Jesus, the full review is underway. I'm hoping to drop it sometime tomorrow. If I can uh, use Virtual Studio Code, that will be good enough for me. Again, I still need to do more testing, but performance has been decent on this. I've been very happy with it. The star of the show to me is the display. It's this display. Webcam, uh, the webcam is good as far as the quality of the picture. I've had issues with the microphone. If you haven't seen my unboxing video, you'll see my example there. Hopefully a software fix will uh, fix that problem. Right now it is an issue as far as the microphones built in on this, okay? Will there, Will there be an OLED version? I don't think so. I think they're going with QLED. This is the first QLED laptop that I'm aware of. Uh, QLED Quantum Dot Technology is next level here, and it's gonna be better in battery life, and it has so far in my testing, better than OLED. So um, this is one gorgeous display, I can tell you that. Surface Book 3, uh, Jerry's asking. Uh, I'm a little, uh, I love the Surface Book 3. I'm a little bit disappointed about the announcement that Microsoft uh, released the Surface, or announced the Surface Book 3. Not much of an upgrade. It's a little bit of a boring upgrade. I think they could have done better. But again, there are a lot of factors going into this, but makes a long story short, I'm a little bit disappointed in the upgrade on that. I think I'm going to do a separate live stream or a separate video to discuss the announcements, but I'm not that excited, to be honest with you. And I think a lot of people feel the same way. I'm not hating on the Surface Book 3. I actually love that. I have the original Surface Book here somewhere, but uh, I don't think that they made enough of an upgrade here this time around. Um, I think it's more of a, a very, very quiet upgrade, in my opinion. I was hoping for more. But we'll, we'll talk more about that, Jerry. Alejandro is saying, at first sight, how does it compare with the Elite Dragonfly? Good thing you asked. I can show you. Let's close this up. And uh, let's get the Dragonfly. And by the way, this video is going to be dropping also probably the next couple of days. This is the Elite Dragonfly with the Shoreview Reflect display, fourth gen display. And here you can see them side by side, the iridescent blue and the royal blue. And you can see the difference. This is a more muted color, although it is gorgeous also. This is a really major fingerprint magnet. That's why I'm wiping it down. Uh, even more so than this one, I think, but they're both fingerprint magnets. You can see the two. Again, one's a 15 inch, one's a uh, 13 inch. So you, you're gonna see a big size difference. Uh, a little bit more understated look, more business focused, of course, is the Dragonfly right here. Andrew, can you tell us how Samsung decides who gets review units and who doesn't? Uh, good question. I'm still trying to figure that out. Uh, my relationship with Samsung is complicated. Um, they, they, they obviously know I'm very, I'm a player in the space because I got, for instance, my Galaxy Tab S6 video is over, I think I got close to 300,000 views on that. My Tab S4, I think is uh, 750,000, if I'm not mistaken, last I checked, or close to 750,000. So they take, they've taken notice of me. They've invited me to the events. I went to the last two events. I went to the Note 10 event. I went to the, uh, the one back in February and I can, and for the ultra, for the S20 launch, of course. Um, and my, they like me from that perspective, but they don't give me review units. And the reason I think is because there's a different PR company that handles the event part of it than the review process people. That's a different company or different people handle that. And they just haven't given me a review unit. I've asked numerous times. I've tried to get to the right people. They just don't, they just ignore my emails. As I'm growing, as I'm getting more influence, of course, I will get I'm sure in touch with the right people. 
Max T is saying, uh, the new Mac is literally a spec refresh, not worth reviewing. And that's the kind of feeling I'm getting. But if you guys want me to review the 13 inch Pro that was just released by Apple, I will do my best to get a, a review unit. Paul is saying um, one thing about the Dragonfly, one thing you love about the Dragonfly is the maintenance of the legacy ports, right? And the optional LTE. Now this one doesn't have LTE. I do have one with LTE right here somewhere. It's right here actually. And oops, well, I lost my microphone here. Um, and yeah, so the Dragonfly does have LTE. If you guys can still hear me okay. Uh, this has the LTE, it's a little bit dirty. Um, the one I got with the Shoreview display, this one has the tile tracker instead in that same uh, slot. So I'll talk more about that in the video coming. I'll talk about these two. Love the LTE personally, but it's great to have the tile tracking on it in case you lose your laptop or it's stolen, you're able to sort of get it back somehow or the ability to at least have an option to get it back. So that's the uh, Dragonfly. Can we extend the RAM and the SSD? So on the, and I'll put the Dragonfly down for a moment. Um, on this one, on the Samsung, uh, you can upgrade the SSD. You cannot upgrade the RAM. The RAM is soldered in, which is a little bit, of course, disappointed, disappointing, especially on a 15 inch device where others in this category do allow you to add more RAM or swap out the RAM. Nope, you're stuck with the RAM, the 12 on this, um, but you can swap out the SSD for those wondering. I'll talk more about that in the full review. Uh, Paul, yeah, I, I'm on point. I appreciate that. Uh, yeah, I do have a lot of laptops available and I'm pretty fortunate because I've had established good relationships with the different brands such as HP, uh, Dell, um, Lenovo, all these other brands. Uh, obviously, they're giving these to me to review uh, with my unbiased opinion, of course. They're not influencing me in any way. They're not paying me. Obviously, that's why I do the disclaimer in each video. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty fortunate. Now, this particular unit, I had to go out of pocket. Again, $13.99 here in the US. Hola, Dennis, how are you? Um, how does it compare to the Lenovo C940 15 Touch? Uh, very favorably, although the C940 has a graphics card that is better than this one, of course, that has a dedicated GPU option, this doesn't. Um, but the display on this is absolutely gorgeous on this. It's, it's beautiful on the C940 15, of course, but you know that's just the way it is. This is the QLED display, the first laptop with QLED, and I'm really impressed with it. I don't want to miss all your questions. I'm, I'm trying to get to the most of them, people. I don't want to make it too long today. Starmat, I answered your question. Can you do, Jerry's asking, can you make a video on the new Mac 13 that was released a few days ago? And also, if I choose between this and the Flex and the XPS 13 2020, which will be better. Uh, I'm assuming if you're going with the Flex, you're talking about the 13 inch model, not the 15 I have here, although they're pretty much identical other than the size. Um, so which would I go with? Uh, it's a different laptop to me because this is a convertible. So if you're looking for a convertible, obviously go with the Flex or even the XPS 13 two-in-one convertible I reviewed late last year, which is great. Um, so it's just a matter of opinion. Now, this is a convertible. The third, X XPS 13 9300, of course, is a clamshell. It, to me, those are apples and oranges. It's hard to, to compare. Uh, I love the Dell XPS 13. It just hits all the right points, more so than I think this does because the RAM options on this are limited the, um, and a few other things. We're gonna talk more about that coming soon, but it depends on what you're looking for. If you're looking for convertible, yeah, the Flex is a very good choice. You won't go wrong with that as well. So again, also the Dell XPS 13 two-in-one will be a good choice as well. All right, so so far, let's see where we are. 33 minutes into the live stream, we have 74 of you. It's been so pretty lively. It's been pretty good. Good questions asking. Max T say, stop spamming, only the SSD is upgradable. Yeah, the SSD is upgradable. RAM is soldered into the motherboard. Hopefully that answered everybody's questions regarding that. 
Uh, <laughs> Star Matt, I hope I answered your question. Neil, thank you. Uh, yeah, please, if, I'm going to get to your questions as best as I can. If you do do a super chat, I will put it to the front line, of course. So if anybody wants to do a super chat, it certainly will help out the channel. But don't continually pay, cut and paste your same question because I won't answer it. Because it's not going to get, it's going to make me a little bit upset. So don't do that. I do the best I can here. Uh, we got a lot of you in the live stream. We've got 75 of you. So uh, everybody will get their turn. I'll do the best I can on what limited time I have. And remember, I'm the one-man band here. I'm producer. I'm the star. I'm the writer. I'm the everything on this. I'm the cameraman. So uh, just bear with me. But if you have a question and you want to get it heard first, you can do a super chat. I will put you to the front of the line, just so you know. But I'm going to try to get to most of your questions, hopefully. Uh, I'm doing the best I can. Uh, Pardom is saying, I'm an HP and Lenovo ThinkPad fan. I like the, uh, the Samsung uh, yeah, I mean, I love the ThinkPad line and I love HP, of course. Uh, that's the beauty of where we are right now. I mean, they're making some great devices. The brands are really stepping it up, as we mentioned. So, yeah, uh, it's a good time to be a fan of these laptops. Jerry's asking, can you make a detailed review about the new MacBook Pro? Uh, or two, I don't want to know. Yeah. Problem with the MacBook Pro in a lot of with this also is I have to go out of pocket and I have to pay for that myself. Uh, Apple will not give me a review unit. That's pretty obvious. Um, so I just have to do the best I can. Uh, I, I'm going to try to get a MacBook Pro 13 2020 into the studio. Uh, just bear with me. OK, I appreciate that. Which antivirus do you use on Windows? I don't use any. I think they're garbage. I don't use McAfee. I don't use any of the others. I don't like them. I think they're bloatware and who knows what else. Neil, um, LG Graham. Max is still talking about the LG Graham. Okay, update on the LG Graham. It's coming, but it's not coming till June. The company that's in charge of the marketing for LG is sending me one, but it won't be till June due to the COVID-19. So bear with me. We're almost there. We're almost mid-June, mid-May uh, already. I will get it early June. Okay, that's what I've been told. 2020 LG Graham 17 I will be getting. TCL 10 Pro. Now, I do have that here, and I did mention it in the video, but it looks like we're going to stick to the Samsung. I still got to unbox it. Uh, battery life should be better than the, um, the one I have here, which is the TCL 10L, which is a little bit dirty. Let me clean it. And so these are coming. Let me switch cameras. Uh, these are, this one I'll probably unbox after the live stream. And then this is the 10L. 10L, I'm really impressed for $250. Really good deal. This is going to be $449 from what I understand coming very soon. And should be released probably within the next couple of weeks. And this one has been good from what I understand. I've been staying away from other people's videos. I like to give my own spin on it. So stay tuned. Max T is asking, would I ever attempt to repasting using thermal pads for a new laptop? Yeah, I would definitely do that. I, I've done it in the past. I just haven't done it on a video, but it might make for a good video, so stay tuned. One of the big things is going to be that this is a major fingerprint magnet, and that's why I'm wiping it down, uh, as you can see here. All right, let's see here. Uh, I've seen in videos that the screen is moving while using it in the pen. Is that true? Yes, it's a convertible. It's inevitable. So here I have the pen and you will see some movement. It's just the nature of the design. And I don't think any two-in-one doesn't move unless you hold it with one hand on the other hand and do it. So it's going to move. And I just want to show you how fast this fingerprint scanner is. Pretty fast, actually. I didn't get it on the first try because I was off access due to the camera. Um, man after my own heart. AV causes more problems than it solves. Yes, antivirus. I, 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 the first thing I do, if they send me something with antivirus, I remove it. it to me, it's crap. Okay, so it doesn't add anything and takes away and it could be malicious as well. So I, I, I don't think. Uh, Jaja, I don't know if this is dual SIM. I don't think it is from what I understand. Um, here are the specs on the box. 
and it's got a 6.47 Full HD Plus AMOLED display as opposed to LCD we saw on the 10L. HDR10, which is good, 64 megapixel camera of the, it's also a quad camera setup, 128 gigs, that's also double the storage that we saw, six gigabytes of RAM. It's also had the 675 as opposed to the 676, 665 Snapdragon rather. So uh, I'm going to do my unboxing video soon. I'm under embargo. I can't do a full review on it yet. So stay tuned. Uh, you will get that information. And I'm sure there's other videos already out on that. I would love to do the MateBook X Pro, one of my favorites. Huawei just I don't know, they disappeared on me. I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe it's due to the United States and the fact that they're not, a pre there's no presence here anymore. So that probably has something to do with it. I have plenty of gaming laptops coming. I do have one from Lenovo. I got two more, two coming from Legion, which is Lenovo. I got one from MSI coming and I got Gigabyte coming. So we got a lot of stuff on the way. Stay tuned. I think May and June are going to be busy months for gaming laptops for those that are interested. I might be on the embargo on this one. I can't, um, I can't talk about the Omen, not just yet. But stay tuned. Something's coming very soon. Uh, it came out on the 26th, April, on the website. Are you, what are you talking about, Paul? What came out? Are you, uh, somebody fill me in. I can't go back that far. Well, let's see. Uh, well, it says you'll fill me in. I really appreciate that, Jerry, uh, that I do deserve a million subscribers, hopefully one day. I'm just happy to get to 100,000 at this point, so we'll see. Uh, I'm truly saying that you deserve this, and I'll try my best and give you my best to increase your subscriber more than you can expect, sir. I appreciate that, Jerry. That is very nice of you, and I do appreciate it. What about Norton? I don't like any of them, DJ Phil. I like Norton. I don't like McAfee. I don't like any of these antiviruses uh, personally. I just don't use them. Kapersky is a good antivirus. Yeah, I mean, look, um, it's a matter of personal preference. I just think it bogs down the system and I don't know what value it adds. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be wrong. Now, I just did the Trend Micro. Speaking of that, I did the Trend Micro uh, device, which actually protects your internet uh, that I did talk about recently. So check that out if you haven't. Please make a review of the Lenovo IdeaPad Duet tablet. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm sure Lenovo will be sending that to me. Um, I did check it out at CES, if I'm not mistaken, uh, when I visited the Lenovo suite. So stay tuned. It might be something to take a look at. Uh, I see graphite pads or Panasonic soft PG, PG, PGS seems to work, but my Lenovo 910 is on its last legs. The screws are snapping and thermal suck. The only reason it won't do it is because I'll probably be a waste. Uh, what are you talking about on that? Um, you're obviously talking about uh, certain, this, I don't want this camera shaking. Uh, are you talking about thermals? Let me know. Okay. Is this laptop good for creatives as it relates to the video and photo editing? Just trying to see why. Oh, I see why this is. Okay, there we go. That should solve that problem. Um, as far as creatives, uh, I, I could, you could do 1080p video editing if you're looking to video edit. It's a good display. The QLED display is very good for that. Uh, as far as 4K video, it doesn't have a dedicated GPU. So I unless you have a, an external GPU you connect via the Thunderbolt 3 ports, uh, I would stay away from 4K. But 1080p will be fine on this. The new Spectre 15 uh, was, is actually available to order. I remember we talked about that. I will be doing a review on that. I'm supposed to be getting that end of May, so stay tuned. Thank you. Again, I appreciate that, Jerry. Uh, Shalil, you, I skipped you, and then you said bye. Sorry you didn't have any patience, my friend. Maybe next time. And like I said... I'll do the best I can to get your questions here. If you're not patient enough and you want to leave, you're more than free to leave, okay? No problem, my friend. Uh, I don't think the Spectre 2020 is a $1,650 for $1,500. Um, I don't know. Again, I don't have it, and I spoke to some my contacts and so forth. I will give you more information very soon on that, so stay tuned. All right, so let's see what else. Let's get some other people in here. Anna, 
Would you review also the MSI Prestige 15 4K? Thank you. Yes, I've uh, made contact with MSI. So hopefully they'll be sending me some stuff. Hopefully that's one of them. Uh, I believe it is. So let's have some patience and I'll get to that as soon as I can. Hey, Andrew, would you can you resolder a different CPU and expect it to work on a laptop? I wouldn't do it. Uh, you'd risk breaking it and I've never done it. And I, maybe there are people that can do it. I wouldn't do it personally. Uh, I, I, maybe it's easy, maybe it's not. I just wouldn't start with that. Okay, how's the, everybody, I got 67 of you. Are you liking the live stream? Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the subscribe button in case, uh, so the algorithm can hear you. That would be great. Uh, I would really appreciate that. Uh, Galaxy Book Ion, very interesting. The Galaxy Book Ion is uh, also released by Samsung, and that is pretty much a traditional clamshell laptop uh, with uh, a couple of differences, of course. Uh, you don't get the S Pen, you don't get a touch display, you do get the QLED display, which is good. Uh, I'm pretty curious to see how it'll do. I'm trying to get one. I will let you know when I do, and we can talk about the Ion as well, but there are some differences between the Ion and the uh, this one here, the Flex. Okay, let's go to the next question. Should I buy this laptop for school? Why not? I think it's a beautiful laptop. It's a little expensive. Uh, if you have the money and they're you're willing to buy it, yeah, why not? It's a good laptop. You can get it in a 13.3 inch or you can get it in a 15.6 inch, which is what I have here. All right, I'm trying to find questions I missed. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm doing the best I can to get to all your questions. Right now, we're at uh, 46 minutes. All right, let's, uh, let's see where we are. Don't want to miss it. How is everybody doing, by the way? How is the live stream? Can you see me and hear me okay? I'm sure you would have said that if you didn't. Uh, any new questions? Let me know. How is the uh, MD Adil Anaf is asking, how good is the keyboard compared to the Chromebook Plus version two? So the keyboard's actually a bit on the shallow side. I've mentioned that in my unboxing video. And it is, uh, it's good. I actually kind of like it. It has some, some strange, it's hard to uh, elaborate on it, but it's uh, hard to articulate. Uh, it's a very satisfying, very satisfying. It's a bit shallow, but it's not terrible. And it, after about a day, you, I got to really like it, actually. I typed pretty quickly, pretty accurately. I was really worried about the shift key and the, the half-size shift key. Uh, hasn't really been much of an issue. So I've, I think I've become, uh, I've become accustomed to it at this point. Didn't take very long. No problem, Anna. I'm glad to help. Which is the cheapest uh, laptop with an S Pen from Samsung? Um, I don't know if the there's a cheap one. Uh, you can get the nine, the I believe the 13 inch of this with the S Pen, of course, is not much cheaper. I think it's fifty dollars cheaper. It's thirteen forty nine. Uh, I don't know if they're playing in any budget level. Uh, if anybody knows. Uh, the notebook pen was expensive, I think, and this sort of replaces that. So uh, I don't really think they were in that budget level. This might be, as far as a 15, the cheapest you can get, although it's expensive, of course. Weight. Uh, this is three point, uh, I think, think 3.2 pounds or something to that effect. Not heavy, not light, uh, not light as, of course, not as light as the 13 inch, but definitely light for 15 inch, that's for sure. Uh, Twins is asking, will, the, will it be 360 foldable? Are you talking about this? This is a 360 foldable. Uh, or are you talking about a foldable device? So I'm not really sure what you're asking, uh, but this folds. Uh, if you're looking for a foldable display that folds out, like the Duo or the Neo from Microsoft or something, or the X1 um, Fold by ThinkPad from Lenovo, that, that I don't know what you're talking about. If that's what you're talking about, this folds like a traditional uh, convertible. Uh, 
Uh, Max T is telling Jerry to stop asking him. It's a spec refresh. You're better off going for a MacBook Air or waiting for 14. Uh, I'm of the opinion that I would like to wait for the 14 only because I'm a little disappointed with the MacBook Pro 13 refresh. I don't know if it's going to be enough interest on my channel. If enough of you want me to do it, I will go out and buy it. But again, I'm going out of pocket. Uh, so it will be very difficult for me to afford it and make a profit. In fact, I'll, I'll, I'm pretty sure I'll lose money. Brand is asking, um, can you review the Lenovo IdeaPad 515 with the new Ryzen 4500 CPU? Uh, I do actually have stuff coming from Lenovo. I'm expecting Ryzen processors, so stay tuned. Uh, Indra Neal is asking, what do you think about the future in the CPU market between AMD and Intel as a consequence of the prices of computers be affected? This is a pretty interesting question. I think AMD is making a lot of inroads with the new Ryzen processors. I think Intel has to be a little bit worried, if not a lot worried. I'm looking forward to testing out a lot of AMD stuff I have coming, so stay tuned. Uh, but I think the coronavirus pandemic has definitely slowed stuff down as far as review units. So we'll, only time will tell, but I definitely think AMD has made pretty good inroads here, and I'm lo lo really looking forward to see where this goes. And it's good for competition, of course. I'd like to see more competition, and that's better for the consumer in the end, that's for sure. How about that QLED display? Is it better than the XPS or the Spectre? Uh, the QLED display is gorgeous. I, I, there's no way around it. You can see here, I'll just leave it in tablet mode. This is a gorgeous display. Um, it really is, I mean, look at the colors on it. It really pops. Uh, one of the benefits of a QLED over an OLED is that you're going to get uh, backlight on this so you get better battery life, not number one, but you're also getting more natural colors as well, not as overly saturated as OLED is. And again, battery life is going to be key on this, but a beautiful QLED display. I'm very impressed with it. Now, is it better than the XPS uh, 13, which I love as well? Um, they're good. They're both good. And I have something, I'm going to do a comparison coming soon, so stay tuned. I don't want to give away everything. Neil is asking, uh, is the $100 upgrade to OLED and HP Spectre X360 15 worth it? If you want an OLED display, and it is absolutely gorgeous, yes, but you won't do quite as well in battery life. Uh, so that's something you need to be aware of. If battery life is important to you, then maybe it's not worth it. But if you're an editor or if you want uh, just the best display, one of the best displays you can get, then maybe that $100 is worth it. It's because that's, that's what it comes down to. You got it. No friend. And it was a good question. Thank you. See, when you ask nice questions, you get an answer. Uh, if you keep asking and repasting your comments and you're getting upset that I'm not answering it, there's a reason why I'm not answering it because you don't have to spam the chat. It's not good for everybody. It just takes away from the experience uh, that we're all trying to have here, okay? So please, if you wanna have your question heard, the best way to do it is through a super chat. Of course, all that, go, anything we get from a super chat goes back to the channel, helps me buy more review units, helps me put more back into the channel, make you better production quality. And it looks like we're having a nice conversation in here, so that's good. Uh, the question is, what do you think is the best budget laptop, which has good battery, 15-inch decent screen, average performance for students? I like the Envy line. Uh, I wouldn't even call it budget. I'd call it mid-level or right below the premium. Uh, NV15 is good. Anything in the 15 inches is good. Uh, they got some new stuff coming from HP with the NV line. I'm a big fan of it. I recently reviewed the HP NV13 Wood Edition. I've reviewed the HP NV, the regular one, of course, and I've loved all of them. I think they're a good price to value ratio, both the 13 and 15 inch variants, uh, and even the 17 inch variants. Using this pen on Lightroom, for instance, is the same as using a Wacom tablet instead of a mouse. I don't have, it's not a stupid question, it's a great question. I'm not a digital artist, so I'm probably not the right person to ask. The right person to ask is probably Lisa from Mobile Tech Reviews. She's a, an artist and she's very good. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, this is a Wacom EMR. 
I would imagine a dedicated Wacom tablet might be better. I, I, I guess I'm not an artist, so you're asking the wrong person. But the experience I've had with this so far, 4,096 levels of pressure sensitivity has been good. And really, palm rejections work well. It's got, I think it sp supports tilt functionality from what I understand. So if you're an artist, this might be a good choice. Hopefully, Anna, that answered your question. Again, I'm not an artist, so you might want to ask somebody like Lisa from Mobile Tech Reviews. I appreciate that Jaja -ja rule and um, I appreciate that it makes me feel good. It means that I'm accomplishing what I'm out setting out to do. Yes, I will be reviewing all the new NVs hopefully uh, soon, sooner rather than later. I'm just waiting for review units, but yes, I'm definitely going to be reviewing them. Show the charger, does, does it get power brick? Uh, I don't, uh, charger's right here, hold on. So here is the box. Let me open it. And let me put this here. So this is the charger. So this is the charger. And these are the specs. Now I think it's a 2045 or 25 watt. I'm not, I don't remember offhand. And there you can see it, hopefully you can see it. And then this is a USB-C charger. It's a, not the smallest, I've seen smaller, but not bad. And it charges pretty fast, it's, it's pretty good. I think it's under two hours. So that's all, we, it does support fast charging, so that's good. So this is the charger. Hopefully that answers your question, Twins RL. Okay. Let me just do something real quick. Okay, I was just checking something. All right, so how's the live stream going? We got 68 of you. It's been pretty good so far. We're almost at an hour. I think we're gonna keep it at around an hour unless we have more to do. I'm not gonna probably talk too much about the TCL uh, Pro, which is coming soon. It didn't seem like a lot of you wanted to talk about it. And again, I'm gonna let you guys figure do you want me to open this up now, or I'd rather wait for a pro proper video, or just skip it all together? I feel bad because TCL sent it to me, and I kind of feel like I should do something with it. It's a great value, 449 uh, OLED display, really good specs. You don't have to spend $1,000 plus anymore. That's what it, the bottom line. What, according to you, is the best bang for the buck laptop in $1,500 range? $1,800 right now, the way you should get it. Uh, the specs that you'd want, uh, even if you could spend the hundred to two hundred dollars more if over that fifth. Say, how's the live stream? By the way, is is this stream? It looks like the bandwidth's okay right now. We're gonna probably keep it at an hour tonight, but it's been a up the royal blue. It's so gorgeous. Yeah, it's starting to buffer. I even got a message from Ecam Live, which is what I'm doing. So we're gonna probably keep it to an hour tonight. Uh, we're at 58 minutes. Is there any other questions before we call it a, a, a day or a night or whatever, wherever you are? It's looking good, Giovanni. Okay, as long as it's looking good. Yeah, it looks like the bandwidth is going up and down a little bit, uh, but we've been holding up with the camera so far, knock on wood. So we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. I think my dog, I just knocked on wood and my dog thought somebody's at the door. That's so funny. Um... Any other questions? We're sort of coming towards the end, I think. Love to see the TCL phone, Harbinger of capable, affordable phones. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna do it today. Uh, I might do a separate live stream, so stay tuned. I will definitely have an unboxing video. I might keep it short because there are some differences, of course, between this and the, um, the 10L, which I have here, uh, but we will be talking about it. Price is about $200 more on this one, but you are getting an OLED display. You are getting more storage. You are getting more premium quality. You're getting a little bit better camera from what I understand. There are some differences here, but again, at 449 or 249, you're looking at some really good options. I'm really impressed with what TCL has to do. You got it, David. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, yeah, we're probably going to wrap it up here. 
I would like to do more live streams. I have been doing more. I've gotten the technical side, I think, straightened out. Uh, I think the quality of the stream has been better, right? I mean, I think you would agree. I have some more stuff. I got a live switcher coming. I have the um, ATEM Mini coming, which is pretty amazing. Uh, hopefully, I can get that soon. So I have one on order. We'll see. And does it work with AutoCAD, 3D Max, and complex software? I don't think you'd want to do anything without a dedicated GPU when it comes to AutoCAD. I think a mobile workstation is better. I understand it's more expensive, but you need the horsepower for what 3D graphics, 3D rendering. So I don't know if this is going to be the best when it comes to that kind of stuff. You can do 1080p video editing. You can do, certainly do Photoshop on this. I'll talk more about it in my full review. Yeah, if Lenovo sends it, I will definitely do it. Surface Book 3, I, I'm not crazy about the announcement, but of course, I will try to get one into the studio to review. So stay tuned. I appreciate that, DJ Fields. You, you have a good weekend as well. Um, good to see you and great, great contributions once again. All right, and with that, we're going to probably call it a day because... I got a lot of work to do. I got a lot of reviews to get through, uh, get you more content out of there. I uh, just want to check to see how many um, subscribers we have just to give you an update. I think we were at over 84,000 last I checked. We're now at 84,233, which is good. Um, and as far as the last video I uploaded, that was the... Um, Samsung Galaxy Book Flex unboxing video, and it's doing very well. We're close to 10,000 views in less than 48 hours, which is good. I like to see you share the video, like the video, so it can get seen by more people. You got it. Uh, you got it, Max T. Is it available with a SIM slot? Unfortunately, not, at least not in the US that I'm aware of. Maybe outside there might be an option for it, but I'm not aware of any that you can currently get right now, which was a little bit of a shame. Now, the Samsung Galaxy Book S, you can get, of course, with a SIM slot because it is Windows on ARM. And by the way, I'm going to be doing a follow-up video on that. I've been loving it so much. I thought another video to follow up after some few months of use, how it's been holding up. Hey, Uncle Tom, how are you? This is my uncle. How are you? Uh, yes, we are live. Hope everybody's doing safe in New York. I know it's been tough. Um, my aunt and uncle live there, and I'm glad to see that they're watching. So hope everybody's doing okay, and my love to you guys, and uh, good to see you. All right, so the march to 100,000. Okay. Um, yeah, we're getting there. We're at 84,000. Let's get to 100,000. It'll be great. Is the Flex coming to the UK? Uh, I imagine it is. It's just not. I don't know if it's been released yet. I know it's released here in the U.S. So, so let's uh, let's start wrapping it up because this thing. I'm going to keep getting more questions, and I got a lot of work to do. But it's good to see everybody, and I want to leave with, of course, one of the uh, catchphrases that I always do. Uh, I do have a lot of stuff coming up. So there you have it. All right, people, we're going to call it a day. I want to thank everybody. It's been a great live stream. Uh, catch my video I have coming tomorrow. I have the Samsung Galaxy Book Flex. I'm pretty sure the review will be done. I got the TCL Pro coming. I know not, not a lot of you are excited. A lot of you are because this is a good deal in the United States, 449 coming very soon. I have the HP Elite Dragonfly uh, with the Shoreview privacy display coming. That's going to be pretty interesting. And I got a whole lot more. So stay tuned. We got a lot of exciting stuff coming. So until next time, this is Andrew, and I will sign off and see you in the next video. Have a good night, everyone, and stay safe.